In this video, I'm gonna show you how to update the firmware on this guy right here, the new X Atlantic Delay and Reverb Pedal. Let's dive right in. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you behind the scenes here. You're gonna open up a web browser. You're gonna to navigate to newxaudio.com. And uh, you can see here, it's auto fill in for me here, but just go to newxaudio.com. And actually, you know what? You can skip things ahead here and just go forward slash Atlantic like this. And I'll paste that link in the description below. So you can just navigate right there. Now this is gonna take you to the product page for the Atlantic. And it's gonna have lots of great helpful information if you wanna read through this, but you're gonna be looking for uh, just towards, kind of somewhere towards the top here where it says support. You're gonna click on that. It's gonna navigate you down to the bottom here. You can download the user manual if you want. There also is this firmware update guide, but I'm creating this video so you don't have to read through that guide. Um, you're gonna wanna download the firmware that's applicable to your operating system. So I am on a Mac, so I'm gonna download the Mac. If you're on a Windows, simply download the Windows. It should be a fairly similar process, but I'm gonna go ahead here and click and update that. It's gonna ask me where I wanna download this. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna just download to the desktop so I can show you this. I'm gonna save, now it's gonna have saved that on the desktop, so if I minimize this here, we should see that. And here's my file right here. Let me drag this over. Just go ahead and unzip that, open it up. It's gonna put it in this folder. Now, what's gonna be in this folder is this is the actual update file, the .bin file. It's gonna have an update guide, which once again is the instructions. Again, I'm doing this video so you don't have to read through that, but it's a pretty simple process. And then you have got your release notes. So we'll, I'll just show you this real quick. And this is gonna tell you kind of the benefits of why you'd wanna update. So. Uh, again, you've got um, the, the Chinese there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna obviously go ahead and read the English here. Um, but the new features, it says you've got a kill dry. So what this is, you can actually put the pedal in, in this kill dry mode, which is gonna, like it says, just completely kill your dry signal. So a lot of people will use this on like a wet dry, wet rig and things like that. Um, so again, got that feature if you need it. And again, we'll indicate you know, how to activate that here. And then it's also just gonna have some improved freeze algorithms for the uh, spring and hall reverb. So right now there's only one reverb that has the freeze function and it's gonna place one of those on the, the other ones as well. So I'm gonna be doing some videos just demonstrating the features and sounds of the Atlantic. So again, I'll kind of you know, do you go through those features and just you know, how to, what the freeze sounds like and all those different things in that video, but let's just get on to updating. So what you're gonna wanna do first is you're gonna wanna, um, we're gonna wanna connect our device here and then we're gonna open up this device updater. Now I wanna show you a few things. So let me flip back over to here. Now, the type of cable you're gonna wanna use is not a USB-C. So I can hold this up to the camera here. Let me see if I can get it to focus. This is a USB-C and it, uh, you know, as you can see it's kinda, if I can get an angle there, it's just basically rounded on all the, you know, it's, it's rounded on each side there. Um, so you're not gonna use a USB-C, you're gonna use a micro USB cable, which the tip of it looks like that, if I can get that in focus for you there. It's flat on one side, so that's kind of the difference. Again, if you try to plug a USB-C in, you'll, you'll notice pretty quickly that it's not gonna fit. Now we're gonna be plugging it into the USB port on the back of the Atlantic right there. And I do wanna say this, um, not all micro USB or USB cables are created equal. Um, you know, a lot of these micro USB cables are used for charging like Android phones and just different devices and things. And you're actually gonna need one that is a data sync cable. So I'll make sure I paste a description or a link to that in the description below. I actually had this problem. I went to try to update and I realized I was using just like, you know, regular charging cable and it was not fast enough. It would not find the device. So just please know that you do need a cable that is rated for data and sync. Um, so again, I'll paste that a link to a description below if you're not familiar with which one to purchase. You can just purchase this one, this exact one, and uh, it'll work right away as you'll see. So what we're gonna do first is we are gonna connect our micro USB cable. So again, I'm gonna take the cable here, I'm gonna plug it into that port, and uh, just make sure you orientate it the right way. So we've got that in. Now we are gonna open up our device updater. So now let me go back to this view. We're gonna open up our device updater here. We've got the USB cable plugged in. It's just bringing up this warning here. Hey, this is a uh, program from the internet. I'm gonna go yes. Now I'm gonna blow this up so you can see this here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just, let me put this to the side here because we are gonna need to grab that file. And there we go here, let me grab this. There we go. So I'll just put that side by side like that so you can see what's going on. Now you can see right here, it says no device found, right? So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab my 
nine volt power cable. And again, just none of these, by the way, are included uh, you know, with your Atlantic, right? You don't get a micro USB cable or you don't get your power cable. They're assuming that you're putting this on a, a pedal board. So I'm gonna grab my nine volt power that is just orientated towards negative on the tip, the polarity of it. And I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in in just a moment, but before you do that, you're gonna wanna hold both of these down at the same time. So you're gonna wanna you know, grab both hands, you're gonna wanna hold those two switches down like that while plugging the power in. And then you'll see, it'll, it'll say you know, that, that it found the device back on our software. So again, I'm gonna hold these down together, those foot switches. I'm gonna plug in here, plug my power into the back. So plug that in while holding that down. Now you'll see what's gonna happen. If I can get the, the hands out of the way there, both of those lights are flashing. And if I flip over to this view, you can see right here, it says New X Atlantic device connected. So then you can go ahead, once it's connected, you can go ahead and let go. You don't have to keep holding those buttons down for the whole process. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is go down here and, and click select file. And then you're gonna navigate to where we, we downloaded. So the, this bin right here. So I'm gonna go, there, it's gonna find this bin.bin .bin file. I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And you'll see here, it, it, it's actually the, the features that's being you know, installed with this update. You can see here, it gives a rundown of that. And now then you're just gonna go, go ahead and hit start update. It's gonna do its thing. It's very important while it's doing this to just make sure you're not unplugging either cable, the micro USB cable or the power cable. But you can see here, you got a little progress bar as you're going. So again, just, can let this you know track out here. And again, I do wanna just reiterate again that while this is doing this, uh, again, just if you're having trouble, you know, where the, this is not showing up here, where it actually says the device is connected, just try a different cable. Um, I actually reached out to their support when, you know, I didn't realize that it was the cable that I was using and they said some other things that can cause, you know, maybe the device to not be connected, even if you do have a data sync cable, is, um, you know, if you have other, uh, peripherals plugged in at the same time. Sometimes those can cause interference. So you might want to unplug any like other USD, USB devices like audio interfaces and things like that. And so if you are having trouble, even if you have a fast data sync cable, uh, again, just go ahead and maybe try some of those things. And what I might do is actually just paste uh, the support email that I got back from NewX support and the contact there, Michael. Uh, I'll, I might just post uh, what he replied back to me just in case you know you're having trouble you could find some of those things but you can see here we're almost done and you'll see a very quick process once this finishes here and then the device will be updated you can see the delay um so if i hold this up you can see the delay light is blinking if you can see that there so now now actually the reverb's blinking so the delay was blinking just a second ago reverb's blinking and then once that what that means there's once that reverb is blinking, it actually means the device is successfully updated. So you can see this back here, device successfully updated, you can close the software. So once you've got that, you're safe to close. And actually at that point, you are safe to unplug, right? I can even disconnect the micro USB. So I've unplugged all that. I'll plug back in. And then you'll see here this time around, it won't, you know, both lights won't be blinking. It just popped up with the delay there. And now this device is updated, it's ready to go. Those features will be available. So friends, if this video helped you, uh, like I said, I've got sound demos and a, a review coming of this pedal, my first impressions on it, and just you know application of using it and different sound demos for you. So if that's helpful to you, man, like and subscribe uh, to the channel. Those videos will be coming. Again, what I primarily do here at Influential Worship is just help worship leaders live into their calling, just serve their teams well. And again, these are just amazing products that I found helpful in a worship context. So again, if that's, if that's you, encourage you, man, please subscribe to the channel and you'll see those videos coming soon. Take care.